all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, for those that are confused, um, uh, I had emailed law enforcement. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they had me arrested, right, mm -hmm. for the um, accusation of violating the protection order. Yes. And I was arraigned on the 5th day of January of 2016. Yes. Now, um, it was such that um, I had emailed them for approximately every day. Yeah. For the last three years and almost almost four years, it's September. Yeah. Three years and 11 months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three years and 10 months. Yes. Now, uh, they did that again. To... And uh, they made me have a 1077, yes, without asking me, well, where were you at on June 16th of 2017? Yes. <laughs> In fact, they, they did it when they didn't ask me where I was at on December 31st of 2015. Yes. Now, the email that I sent, yes, mm -hmm. was that they issued a protection order, yes, where the protected person didn't sign it, no. The petitioner didn't sign it, no. Mm -mm. And there's a forgery on it, right, and quite possibly two forgeries, right. Mm. Mm. And uh, I informed them, I said, well, <laughs> the petitioner didn't sign it, yes. And I had some knowledge of um, what is required to be able to issue a protection order at that time. Yeah. Now, um, those that are psychiatrists, yes, mm -hmm. See, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the DSM-5, yes, uh, said that um, I was uh, delusional. Mm. See, in the discovery, yes, according to documents, yeah, he evidenced paranoid and psychotic beliefs and had trapped his wife inside their hotel, yes, believing she had computer chips inside her, yes. Now, why the state of Washington would believe that that's what my wife said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I would say that if I had a biochip, yeah, and I put it in a woman's body, mm -hmm. and I had a computer that could control her, yes, mm -hmm. because I did tell my wife one time, I said, you know, if I could put a chip yes, in every erogenous zone of a woman, I said chips in all the right locations, mm -hmm. I meant I could chip every sexual nerve ending of a woman's body, yep. Yeah. That's all I need to do to be able to Stepford the woman. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the show Stepford Wives? Yes. Mm -hmm. My thought was to control women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, believing she had a computer chip inside her. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this documentation that Phyllis was reading. Yes. She didn't really seem to understand that to be able to, to be convicted of a crime. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you would have had to be in uh, Jefferson County on June 16th. Ooh. And uh, you would have to be able to prove that the individual had emailed yes, some of the co-workers of my wife on that day or before. Yes. But I actually didn't email any co-workers on June 16th, 2017 or early. Mm -mm. And uh, I wasn't there. I was in front of the Masonic Temple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, we have the same problem here. Yes. I didn't understand the nature of the proceedings against me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't in squim. No. Mm -mm. I have the evidence to prove that. So, but they said I was, uh, well, I was uh, psychotic. Yes. Medication of Mr. Budnick's restoration period. Mm. Mm. And uh, we had scheduled a cell hearing. Yeah, we did. Uh huh. For the involuntary administration of antipsychotic medication during Mr. Budnick's mm -hmm, restoration period. So, mm -hmm. Now, when you really think about it, yes, I actually wasn't in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Now, I know mm -hmm, the state would say, well, obviously you were. Uh, they said you were. Yeah. But I was making videos that morning from uh, approximately 20 minutes to 10 a.m. Yeah to uh, 12, no, 11.40, yeah, mm -hmm. then I was in the senior center. Now, this is a very, very disconcerting um, issue, yes, because according to documents, yeah, I never got to see those documents. Mm. Now, I did see the delusional email. Mm -hmm. I did see the first protection order that was issued when I didn't get any notice or opportunity to be heard. 
Oh. Oh, um, see, uh, psychotic symptoms, you yeah. know. Uh, there was a considerable amount of liability for not respecting the rights of a homeless man. Yeah. Law enforcement is not enforcing the law. Mm -hmm. Now, there was no evidence of hallucinations or disorganized thought. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's say that I informed law enforcement, yes, mm -hmm. that uh, the protected person didn't sign this. Right. Mm -hmm. This signature does not look like that signature. Yes. This signature really does not look like this signature. Oh, oh, oh. This petitioner did not sign this. Mm -hmm. And I was arrested numerous times um, because of this belief. Yes that I am a paranoid and psychotic, yes, that somehow I trapped my wife inside the hotel, yes, uh, that never happened, <laughs> you know, my wife had a key to the hotel, and I never obstructed her right to go wherever she wants to go, mm -hmm. now, um, these seven years, yeah, now they're eight years, mm -hmm. and uh, the idea, yes, that everything that has happened to me was according to some documents, yes, that was filed with the court, yeah, and all of my arrests were because of, yes, I'm the crazy one, oh, 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 I'm the one that's going to have restoration, yes, I'm the one that's going to have forced medication, mm. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that has the mental illness, yes, I have paranoid delusions, yes, yeah. Detaching from the reality, yes. Now, let's look at the dissolution of marriage. Right. My wife files for dissolution of marriage, yep, on the 24th of May of 2012. Right. <laughs> she calls the police three days later and has me arrested. I get out of jail. Yes. I didn't try to contact her. Mm -hmm. I, will, I did seven hours of parenting classes. Yes. And then... Uh, you decide, right, there's no, uh, let's see, proposed parenting plan? Yeah. Now, does that look different than the parenting plan that I was reading? Yes. Because I don't remember reading in that parenting plan um, uh, mental health evaluation and treatment required. Mm. Now, I responded in the 90 days. Yes. And she motioned the court for default dissolution of marriage. Mm. Now, for those that don't understand the lawsuit, yes, you do not have the legal right to pay taxes uh -huh, because the income that you received, I have the right to tax. Oh, I have the right to sue for. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm suing the IRS for all your taxes that you paid. Yes, they did not have the legal right to receive taxation. Yes, yes. When they do know that I did not get any notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm. Hmm. Now, as I mentioned, I'm looking for a couple hundred billion dollars. So you get me the taxation of every sheriff in the United States, yes, every police officer, poop, because I'm going to sue the IRS mm -hmm. for accepting your taxes, yes, when they had knowledge of your refusal to enforce the laws. Now, I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're now? You could remove, yes, what is known as the mm -hmm, documentation of me holding my wife in the hotel room, yes, <coughs> and um, that she had a computer chip inside her. Oh, 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 oh.